Yo, what's up? My name's uh, Warren Peterson, also known as Baked Ink. Hi, I'm Uno July. I'm Robin. One half of Ill Skills. Tattoo and fine artist. Often people laugh at me when I identify as a black person. I think the K-word would make me feel liberated, free to express my opinion. You know, as, as K being the 11th letter in the alphabet, if you did your numbers as a person, um, and you had the number 11, you were seen to be a light bearer. We were in Woolworths in Garden Centre, just shopping. We were in the queue with our, with our basket of goods. She forgot something really important. Gave me her basket, she ran off to go and get it. And she came back and... This old, it was like, an geriatric old, an I even old guy. Got, what do we even do? An 80-year-old white guy standing behind us. He was just like, you he just black lost bitches, it. you black people, you just think you can push in everywhere. Your face just went so red, though. I was red, completely though. shocked. My mouth fell open and I couldn't believe that this was still happening in, when was that, 2013? Crew was uh, established back in 2005 in this little township here in Cape Town called Guguletu. We call it the Native Yards. Well, we call it the Native Yards within the spirit of our new project. Notes from the Native Yards, you know. It stems from back in the days, uh, Kukuletu streets were named uh, by the apartheid government as the Native Yards. So you'd have NY1, NY2, NY3, NY4, etc. NY stands for Native Yards. I know it has that whole negative uh, connotation to it, but it was only right that we wanted to reflect backwards and tell a story of where we come from. Yeah, usually, people roll up here looking for Warren Peterson and I'll walk up to the front and be like uh, yo can I help you and they'll be like no we actually just want to speak to the store manager because they assume I'm just a dude that kind of cleans up here and when they do speak to the manager they'll usually come back to me and be like uh, Warren is for you they actually want to book an appointment with you I just push the price up for them eh? <laughs> And if they're bastards, then I just won't tattoo them at all. But wait, I think we should talk about the engine on Orange because that's actually my tipping point. That was where I, I knew that if I didn't do something positive, I was going to implode. I remember Cherise being shouted at. Shame are you here to beg? Those group of like white youths chilling at the car. These kids were just like, oh, you're from Kailicha, shame. Are you here to beg? I opened up my own shop in PE. A lot of the other studios, which were so-called white dominated. They all said that because I'm colored and young, um, I can't do portraits or good tattoos because it's a white industry, you know? No one actually got tattooed by me except like friends and family for a while. To prove them wrong, I actually did a self-portrait of myself on my leg as my business card and that squashed that beef. We went outside and again, that, that anger, that violence, that aggression stomped on the chips and, you know, we, we got quite aggressive and this chick just kept saying, you guys are so common. And the petrol attendant actually came over and said, listen, if you don't calm down, we're gonna have to call the cops. And At I was that like, point, I realized how serious this matter actually was. We were the ones being discriminated against, yet we were the ones that were being threatened with police action. You know, seeing yourself in the other, being able to connect with people because you see a part of yourself in them. And through K-Word, what I'm trying to do is say, hey, we shouldn't live in fear of the other, but rather just grow love for one another.